Manu, both parties in both chambers are worried about one thing, power. In the Senate, it's Harry Reid. It's Harry Reid. He knows that his majority leadership is in trouble. If the, if the Democrats keep control of the Senate this November, they're probably going to keep it for several more cycles to come. They need this November. Harry Reid is becoming an issue the way he's controlling the Senate. And when we talked to him this week, he will defended his leadership style because he knows it could become a liability if things get worse here politically. He does seem like he's saying things he's never said before about the cokes and stuff like that. I mean, what's behind, what do you think is behind he's that? He's trying to elevate what he sees are his political opponents, like the Koch brothers. They want to have the argument about that. And Harry Reid doesn't mind taking arrows from, from Republicans. Republicans say he's a dictator. He's Vladimir Putin. Uh, he runs the chamber like, like, a, like with an iron fist. And he just kind of laughs that off. In the House we have the Young Guns, another group of people who, they're going to keep the chamber. There's no question about that, House Republicans. But Eric Cantor, Paul Ryan, and Kevin McCarthy are trying to create this power structure to increase their power. We don't know what John Boehner's going to do. What do you do. think he's going to do? I don't know. I think some mornings he wakes up and he loves it. Some morning he wakes up and he hates it. But Eric Cantor going to be the speaker. That's There's almost no question. It would be interesting to see how Harry Reid and Eric Cantor oh, work boy. together. <laughs> <laughs> They've already had these huge fights. And who knows? I mean, if John Boehner stays, you could see Eric Cantor and Hillary Clinton or Jeb Bush.